the minute I find out that this event was going to be in Sac State, I didn't think twice. Whatever I had on my agenda, you know, it was like, I will, I will be there. Sexual assault is something that is big in our community, and I think as like women, but also like as a woman of color, um, I believe that we're not heard, and I think that bringing awareness to the community is very important. I'm very excited. I think it's going to be intense and very moving. Um, I'm prepared to feel very emotional, but I'm excited that she's here. And so it's always been about supporting survivors. It's always been about making sure we connect survivors to resources and about like politicizing, if you will, and definitely training survivors to be in positions of leadership in the work to end sexual violence. So we are trying to you know, pull people to action while we're also making sure they have what they need to heal. Well, I felt like the Me Too movement is somewhat a bit of male bashing, but she did say that it's not a movement about male bashing. It's more about addressing the behavior and the assault that happens to the victims. It's very informative. It clarified a lot of things. College students, high school students, even middle school students are so much more amenable to these ideas. Um, as they're being trained and understand ideas like consent and respect and boundaries. What has to happen now is that I need to be talking to younger generations to sort of institutionalize the vision so that when they do take over, they can like broaden the vision. She kind of gave everyone an action plan and that really stood out that I feel like people are going to leave here and they're going to make a difference. Even if it's tiny, that's just 1,100 more people who are ready to make a difference and ready to really get the ball rolling with this.